Hey YouTube, this is Easy Prepper 101. Today we're actually going to be doing an unboxing and going to be taking you step by step of what this product is. I had a company reach out to me and they kind of saw I've been doing some gardening and they said, hey, I really think this shovel would help. So I've already opened it up just to make sure that um, this was this company because I was getting some other packages. But Tac Niner reached out to me saying, hey, we have this shovel. And we really would think it'd be good with your channel and what you can do. So I'm very excited to get this. And thank you uh, for Tac Niner for sending me this shovel because I've seen a lot of advertisement for this shovel out there. And I think it's really cool. And I'm going to be kind of curious to see um, everything that we're going to be able to do. This is a 15 in one shovel. So kind of the, the box is kind of cool because it kind of tells you a little bit what you get but the great thing i love the the packaging on that is when you flip this over it kind of tells you everything this shovel can do and i'm going to be um peering in over here so it has a glass face compass magnesium flint a flathead bit a phillips bit safety hammer uh saw bottle opener rescue knife harpoon uh, hex driver two, uh, hook and wire cutter, serrated edge knife, stainless steel shovel, a 10 meant a 10 centimeter ruler slash axe, and an unlock and fold for the hoe. So what we're going to do right now, I mean, that's great. And one thing we're going to do is we're going to put this through all of this. We're going to test everything to see how this works. All right. So now we're going to open this box up and kind of see the presentation of it. So first of all, it's real nice that they kind of have looks like the instructions are going to be here so it kind of talks about the shovel and like it showed on the back it gives you a nice detail of the shovel pieces because uh each kind of compartment of the shovel has different items you're going to be able to do so we're going to also talks about their warranty and that so i'm just going to kind of place this off to the side um right now i kind of like that it comes already safety packaged in their case and having the case is very nice i mean sometimes you can get some cases that are very flimsy but this one definitely is made well i really like the bag that this comes with because it definitely has where you're going to be able to the little um loops here you're going to be able to connect a strap to and having this is great and also you can put this on your belt but this is kind of heavy but you could probably put this like on a backpack or something but so open it up and there's your uh straps so very nice simple easy clip clamps so now we're going to just pull, as you can see, it's kind of packaged. They have it bubble wrapped, so which is very nice to kind of make sure to keep it safe. So, and, and they're actually in compartments. So I'm going to, sorry, I took that out of the shot here. So as you can kind of see, it's, it's kind of hard. So you can kind of see how it's in the compartment. There's the webbing or the the lining of it to kind of keep everything compartmentalized so which is really nice that they're thinking of it so because sometimes if it's just an open bag it's going to be clanking around so that's real nice that they did that so first thing first we're going to pull the shovel out so first impression definitely kind of i'm digging the this has a little a, a protective case for that which is nice and this is velcro right in here so which is real nice to kind of keep the handle compact it really nice so which is really good so we're going to just open this up and it's kind of like a the you know the old school military shovels so you just tighten that up open this up and this is definitely really cool first off right away if you so if you look at the bottom here it definitely has the logo of tac niners you can see the blades the rulers the measurements so uh definitely really nice so you know right out of the box so i'm gonna put this off to the side then we're gonna pull some of the other stuff out so this you know i don't know which each compartment it is so okay so here's the blade knife and the harpoon and the bottle opener so that you just kind of take that attach it to there so that's kind of cool i'm definitely digging that i'm gonna have to look in the instructions of the order that all these go in but i'm just kind of opening this up giving my first impressions right away and here's the next one so this is the compass you have the compass there which unscrews and you have your uh, magnesium right there so you can start a fire so you could probably maybe put a few other maybe like 
tinder and that in there if you want to help get the fire going um, definitely going to be able to do that then you have your flathead and then i believe should be yep just pull it out and then you have um your phillips so let me just put this in my hand so you can see them both so and that just put it right in there so that's nice this looks like this is probably the handle for that so i'm guessing and the last piece and i really do like that they put all these individual in bubble wrap so you know if you wanted to after you got done you could so now uh there's the kind of the spike hammer that they had and um and there's definitely room in there so you can see so you probably be able to put like compartments or put some other maybe survival stuff in there that you might need to do so what we're going to do right now is i'm going to kind of clean this up right now and get the, and and read the instructions real quick to see the proper order to put this in all right guys as you can see i have everything out and the one thing i do want to say that this is called the sheath i did not uh, say that term when i was unboxing this so it's real nice that it comes with this to protect this and then you know when you're when you're folding it up that is definitely a nice plus because a lot of times if you get some shovels even sometimes military shovels they don't come with the sheath so that is real kudos to that to have this so it's really good and the velcro on there is a nice plus so um this is real nice just to kind of what we're going to do so when you want to use it if it's for for gardening which we're going to be testing that out we're going to be using it for the in the hoe position and then if you need to tighten it you're just going to just tighten it up to where you know you're going to have a good strong shovel so um right now first impressions it definitely looks like this is going to do it um i remember growing up having some of the old school military shovels when you'd be digging into the ground this metal piece would kind of bend or, you know, kind of flex. So I'm going to kind of be curious to see if that holds. So that's going to be a, a nice test that we're going to do. And like I said, we're going to do tests of everything from the measurements, from the digging, the bottle opener. We're going to put this all through its test. So next steps after you have this locked in or folded, if you're not going to have it in the bag, is we have the accessories that you're going to be able to put in here. Now, you can really use your own mind if you want to use this for an emergency shovel or that, depending on how um, this all works out. So what you have to do is you have to take kind of the, the extra, another bottle opener with the harpoon, with the knife here, and even another hacksaw, is you need to take it, screw it into the top, and be very careful. Kind of grab it down here where the can open is. That's where um, it's not sharp. So kind of get it nice and tight. And once you have it nice and tight on there, um, if you have like a Leatherman or a tool, that's the position you're gonna wanna keep this in from what we looked in the instructions, because then you're gonna put this right into there and that's just adding, you know, making the handle bigger to use. Now, this is open, so I don't know if you can kind of see the light, but you can put extra water matches or you could even probably put if like water tablets you know if you're camping if you need it to you know to have in there's a nice little storage so it comes with a nice storage compartment so then you take the next step and you can also do the same thing there's plenty of room in here that you could put tons of storage in there for survival you could probably even put um more matches you can probably put some tinder in there and you really put fishing line uh, some lures and stuff like that you could be able to put that in there or you know if you're maybe even some wire depending on what you want to do or some maybe 550 cord so you have to use your own imagination of what you'd want to put in here but literally that's all this is so you have the little point so kudos to having that because they're definitely thinking it besides you know gardening you could have other tools in there for gardening or in a you know emergency situation if you leave this in your vehicle So then last but not least, but as you can see, just by having that, I mean, that's a really good shovel without putting the last piece on that if you needed to do some digging. And we, like I said, we are going to put it through digging to see how this holds up. But very good handle on that. And, you know, if you had to, you can almost use this for protection in a way. But also you can use this to chop down some small, smaller branches in that too. And then last but not least is the compass. And then you also have the... Um, the Phillips and the flathead that I like how it's really jammed in there. So you're not going to lose this. So um, that's a nice thing to have. So 
sky's the limit. And you know, if you're camping or if you're out working in your garden, sometimes if you don't have a multi-tool that, just having that right there is really nice. And then once again, you have your magnesium starter, which you can also use with the magnesium starter. You be able to, you know, we're gonna try to see if this will work to get a fire going with this because this should work with that way. So that's another thing we're gonna test out. So, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all this back in there. And then also too, more room. So use your own, what you think you might would wanna put in the shovel. So kudos to that, that they're giving you a lot more room for that, so. And maybe, you know, if that little harpoon knife blade doesn't work for getting this going, maybe you can find your own little small one that you can use to scratch it, but you can use a knife. So it really doesn't matter. That's, you know, to get it going. But then lastly, put this in there. And this is, as you can see, we're gonna, I'm gonna pan it, move the shovel. It is definitely a long, long shovel handle for definitely if you're digging for for chopping or doing whatever you need to do for that um I, it's really cool that it's that big and then you could also take certain parts out to make it to the depth that you want to go to it so um right now first first impressions of this is i'm really i'm digging the shovel because i've seen a lot of advertisements for um the tech tech niner shovel in the 15 to one. And I'm glad that they reached out to me because I was actually thinking about getting one just to see how well it works. So, because there's been a lot of advertisement for it. So thank you to them. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to go through all of the 15 uh, accessory steps to see how well do they work in a situation. All right guys, now we're in the process of getting this raised bed going and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the shovel here in the hoe position. I started to kind of scrape up, but then I realized it wasn't filming. So I brought it over here. So the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all the mulch out of here. So then I'm gonna be lining this with the tarp, but for this purpose, we're gonna be using this of scraping it up. As you can see, there's still the layer of kind of the paper base we have on there to try to keep from the weeds coming up, even though they kind of still do, as you can see right here. But we're gonna put this through test of mulching this up and see how this does of, cause we're gonna kind of push all this mulch to one side to see how well this holds up of trying to get it. And we'll see. Right now, no problem using it. As long as you have the all the handles tighten, no issues, no nothing. Cause if not, it kind of comes loose. So that's made one thing before you start using it, make sure everything is tight and pretty good. So using it for this purpose as a garden, it's pretty nice. So we got all the mulch out, so pretty simple. And since we're doing this, we'll also kind of use the shovel aspect, of, you know, just to kind of use it for shoveling. Granted, we're gonna still do some other tests to kind of see how it works, actually digging into the ground and not using mulch. Yeah, no issues, you know, using the shovel, just using mulch. Yes, I know it's just mulch, but we're actually going to use this, uh, digging some holes to see how it does. But for a gardening hoe, quick, simple, easy shovel, you know, you could put in your, you know, your shed or something. Uh, definitely good to go in that aspect because it pulled this up no problem. So, um, yeah, pretty excited about that. All right, right now I have my soils that we're gonna be putting in these boxes. I have two more bags off camera. But what we're gonna be doing is actually using the knife to actually cut, which has actually been real handy. Literally. But as you can see, with the knife and that did no problem. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna dump this and we're gonna show you um, how this works with uh, 
like I did with the other one. So we have, uh, uh, we just did uh, one bag of each. So we took uh, the other handles off, so we're just using it, which is really good. So I just put the one bag in and put the other one on top. We're just gonna show you how this does mulching this, mix them together. I have blue tarp at the bottom to try to uh, keep it in the containers in my beds. But as you can see, no problem, no issues. Digging this down, mixing it up. You know, and it's holding steady. It's not loosening or anything. So uh, really good that this does that because I've seen shovels with hose that the military, older military shovels, these wouldn't hold on to. So right now, uh, this has done very good of just seeing how I can mix these up. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna fill one bag with just having just the shovel itself. And then we're gonna add uh, the extenders on to show you if you want to dig, but we're gonna do another demo of actually digging into the dirt. With having just, you know, the small handle that it's just perfect, especially if you already have your potting soil and all this mixed up already makes it easy. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side and just how easy it is, being careful. Cause maybe you didn't want to be hunched over. You can just have your in there. Now I've been using the shovel for re-getting my garden and stuff. And the shovels come in very handy from just uh, cutting the bags open to put fresh soil in here, mixing them up. Like see, here's this right here. Nice and easy, breaks it up. So it makes it real nice. So you can just do that, dump it, you know, because sometimes, you know, you can have like the bigger shovels, but then you don't have to bend over. But then if you just wanted to mix it, if you do, you can just see, and it works well. And you're not having to bend over if you had the small handle here. So this is just kind of real nice to where you want to mix it. And if you notice, this is not loosening up, which is very nice. Like I said before, in some of the other uh, little segments of this, this is not loosening up like some of the other shovels. All right, so now we have, we're gonna be planting a peony bush right here. So now we're gonna see how this does shoveling, digging through this hard clay that we actually have in Ohio here. So. This is very hard clay, as you can kind of see. We actually going through actually another part of felt from the previous owner in that. So we're really putting some stress on this. So we got this root here. Actually, I kind of. Chop this up a little bit, kind of show the versatility. So a little too short, probably should have been care I was careful, but moving this out. Okay, so now we're gonna actually use the hoe here, kind of as like a digging to see, cause we gotta build this a whole lot a little bit more just to see how it does with the stress. And the one good thing, put on the camera here, that the silver ring on here is right now not bending from what I'm seeing, so which is a good sign because, um, like I said before in the video, some of the older military shovels and stuff, those would bend pretty easy, so. And this is actually doing really good. Digging this hole. 
because I'm swinging this really good and this is just cutting through this and right now you know no issues so um, so we'll kind of be careful as we're getting to the point here but yeah digging shovel um, not having a problem the only thing you maybe be careful is you might have to tighten it here as you can see this part right here so you might have to tighten this so if you do you'll kind of tighten it just like that being careful that kind of locks it in because it goes opposite direction from the handle on that so but using the shovel to dig a hole um, is I'm not having any problem and definitely having the extenders on here and this is hard clay that we have and we actually have some roots in here no problem uh, the one thing I want to show you on the camera now is we're going to dig this up by hand we're going to look at this silver to see if it's bending in any way and from my eye, and I don't know unless you guys can see it, I don't see it this bending, so that's a very good sign. So we're gonna tighten this back up. It would help if I go in the right direction, but really putting this shovel through its paces from digging, from using the ax, you know, the hoe on there, you can use it and no issues, no nothing. Um, now granted, you could dig this hole with a bigger shovel to plant this uh, bush that we're doing. And I understand that, but I wanted to put this shovel through its paces of actually digging through hard clay that we have in Ohio. So if we're able to put this through this hard clay in Ohio, then you could almost do it anywhere else with this clay. All right guys, this is the hook slash wire cutter. So we're gonna just, See what this does. Um, I think if you're gonna do this, I would definitely, I mean, it cut it, but not in the exact spot. But my recommendation, if you're gonna do this with wire and stuff like that, make sure you get some gloves because especially with the wire in that, it's gonna do that just so you can get that friction on there. All right, so now we're gonna be testing the bottle opener on a beer here, just to see how well this works. Yeah. just like a bottle opener should I mean just like I have one right next to my tool shed you know whatever but for this being a safety thing it works good I mean the only thing else is just gonna be redundant is just safety of making sure if you don't put your hands there or there when you're cracking the bottle open but definitely works like it should all right guys you can see we have a hex bolt here on the side this was a concern that i was actually wondering with the placement of this how would this work if you're in a tight situation now granted i'm just doing this for demoing purposes to see but you know it's hard you know because you're you know of how big the face is yes i'm hitting the ground but you also have to think if you're on a campsite if you're working on a camper so that's just one of those things too so the hex bolts do work but it's just the big shovel is, is kind of an issue, but I think that's something that we kind of expected. One more thing I want to add that you kind of need to be careful, especially in this situation of this demoing, is you do have to watch out because this is sharp and this is sharp there. You don't want to be grabbing this and you're going to cut your hand. So having it in that location, um, I don't think it's a good idea. I think it's maybe one of those things where I think if they would have done these two hex bolts, maybe gave you like a little tool that could fit inside, I think that would have been even better. All right, so we have the rescue knife the saw and the harpoon and then the bottle opener too but we also added the stock here at the bottom just so we could really see how this cuts here so i got a piece of two by four right here and then this is a branch that actually fell down just to kind of do some comparisons but definitely want to be careful so as you can see with the sawdust, it's it's cutting a two by four, and I've probably have gone in a good at least half, you know, I don't know maybe you know a little bit, almost half the almost almost close to half the plate, as you can see where it's covering. So if it, if it's cutting a two by four, then it really shouldn't have no problem cutting this tree branch here. 
As you can see, the sawdust that we have here and there, it's cutting it like nothing. So um, no problem cutting it, as you can kind of see. It has cut that no problem. So the sawing aspect of it works. So now we're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, so we have some jute twine here in a bird's nest. I also have some lint and even a paper towel here that we're gonna to try to use the flint and steel on this. So um, the shovel is dirty because we just dug a peony bush as you'll see in this video. So we're doing the top part here because we kind of want this blade. What we need here, what we're gonna do is, is untach this because I don't want to have the long handle. Now the nice thing what you could do is you could probably put the jute twine, stuff some in here if you really wanted to, or same thing with the lint. So that's the nice thing about this shovel. And as you can see, it's dirty because of digging the hole. You can literally do whatever you want with this because there's another compartment there. So not that big of a deal. And as you can see, there's the Phillips head and then also the flat head there. So but that's not the purpose of this part. The purpose of this one here is I'm gonna put this in here because I don't wanna lose them. And the great thing also, you, if you didn't wanna not have this full there, if you have the bag, you can put it in the spots there. So now we're going to see if we can get this lit. Look at that, little spark, got the flame going instantly with the jute twine. And that was with this and with the blade that has the harpoon and the saw. So that started no problem as you saw with this. So that's a good sign to know that if you're in a survival situation, if you have some jute twine put maybe in here or maybe in one of the other handles, you just have a little bit in there, good to go. And also too, you could probably put some waterproof matches or something like that in here. The only thing you, I would recommend you're probably gonna wanna do is somewhere you're gonna wanna have the striker for that. So uh, that's good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause the video, get this out of there and get the lint on here. All right, so we have the dryer lint here, which is another thing we're gonna use with trying to start a fire with this. Actually, I just started the flame and I put it out. Got the flyer there with a few strikes. We actually had a flame going, but I put it out, which was my fault. But that started up instantly after just a few little strikes with this, with the blade on there. So literally you can do, you can use right, you know, right now, wired the dryer lint or the jute twine or whatever. And I literally have, I'm not even gonna do the paper towel because if it's starting these up, it will start the paper towel. So I'm not that concerned about it. And I don't feel like I need to add one more thing, but no problem, dryer lint, jute twine, put that extra in here. You're gonna be able to rock and roll, get a fire going if you're gonna have this for your emergency backpack. But really using this for the gardening and stuff is definitely really good. All right, so we have this tree here, this branch that we're actually gonna cut using the sharp edge of the blade here. So. I mean, you can see it's chopping that off no problem. I mean, it's shaving that off like no problem, which is nice to see. chopped it down this is as you can see with the camera you know come over here on the other side you can see it's pretty much down I mean that's what that did you can see this chopped it down so if you're in a survival situation and you need to use this hack this the blade on here to chop some branches down no problem and I really think if we put the camera down to this branch here I'm not gonna do it you could probably chop this off now it's gonna take some work but I have all the confidence that this could definitely do that. So one thing that just happened and we just got done chopping the tree down because we we're grabbing the handle like this, using the chop, I looked and this came out, as you can see, the glue strand is on there. So that's not good, especially in a survival situation because you need this compass. 
So I don't know if it's because of the glue or what's going on. So what I'll have to do is I'm gonna have to end up gluing, putting some more glue in there, probably using Gorilla Glue to put that in there because you do not wanna lose this. So um, that is a downfall that I just found after chopping the branch down of the compass because you know you need that compass to know you know am i going north south east or west so that is definitely something to where just using it from all the stuff that we've done from digging holes to chopping the tree down to a lot of other stuff that this just popped off no problem so that's kind of a downside that's maybe something that maybe a tack niner could maybe put some stronger glue in there as you can see that just came right off and in a survival situation if you don't know north south east or west or whatever having this out not being attached to that kind of an issue all right guys we're gonna be wrapping this video up once again this tech niner shovel did everything that i was hoping it was going to do the the metal ring around the top here held from digging the plant bush that we did which was a peony bush was nice and big that worked great this worked good when i was adding the soil to my new flower beds not bending or anything having turning this into the hoe which made it great for mixing the stuff up and having it just this size because sometimes when you're planting some of the shovels you can have you know are small the where you need to keep digging but this i really like this which is me and my wife really enjoyed using this when we were planting all of our uh, plants that we had uh the safety hammer we did not do the demo of this but i'm very confident that how sharp this is it would definitely do the job if you need to break a window in your car or something to in an emergency situation they would definitely do its job also too with the flathead bit um i did not do the demo because it's just you know this is something you would get if you had a drill it would work no problem whatsoever also too with having the harpoon saw and rescue knife this worked very well when it came to opening up the soils for my raised beds it was great when these were all combined having that as one and then having this to mix it up it worked out very well and then the sheaf the bag is very fantastic to have but the one little smallest minute detail that i think can be easily fixed is the compass here where i think you know just put some better glue on the underside like we like you saw it was just kind of falling off so that is like the only thing that i can really ding this shovel on is that the glue came off after using it from digging all the holes for the the peony bush and hacking you know for the tree branch down and doing everything else that we did just to have maybe a little bit more glue on there that's it so in my situation this is a fantastic shovel and you know for prepping for gardening for a lot of stuff so i really like this my wife really liked um you know this shovel as well too so the one thing i'm gonna say before i wrap this video up tac niner when they reached out to me to demo this video they also told me that they wanted me to do a giveaway so in a, in a few weeks we're gonna do a giveaway of this shovel not this shovel that i have but it's gonna come straight from tac niner so I'll be on the lookout for that video coming out in the next uh, few weeks. So if you want to kind of get a head up of when that video is going to come out, make sure you um, look, find my Instagram, which will be in the description. I always kind of post um, a little snippet of what the video is going to be of the following day. So you'll be able to get a notification when the giveaway is coming. So definitely check out my Instagram there so you can be on that. But all in all, thank you so much for Tac Niner for sending me the shovel. Um, I really enjoyed using this. My wife really enjoyed using this. So definitely, all in all, this is a fantastic shovel. Write down below what you guys think of the shovel. If you guys think if it's something maybe would help you. And um, also, hopefully, you know, like I said, be on the lookout for that giveaway. So write in the description. Let me know what you guys think of it. And then hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And we will catch you guys down the road.